Okay, so the last little part we need to do before we get stuck into game development is we need to set up our project to work with the type of game that we want to make. So we want to make a mobile game. So it's pretty easy to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go File, Save Scene As, and we're just going to save this scene as Main. Cool, so now we can see the scene has popped down here in the Assets menu. So if we you know, click on that, and it'll open the scene. And happy days, everything's going well. Then we want to go over to File, click Build Settings, and it should, autom it should automatically be on the PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. What we want to do is we want to click on the iOS, or we want to click on Android, depending on what you want to develop for personally. They're both pretty much exactly the same in regards to what we will be doing inside of Unity. So choose which one, and you want to click to you want to click switch platforms. So mine's already on iOS, but click switch platforms. And what that will do is it will move the Unity project over to work with iOS. It should take you know a couple of minutes to do. The next thing we want to do after that's that's kind of worked, go back into build settings and we want to click add open scene. So you can see here we have that deleted scene that we deleted at the start. We can just delete that. And we added our open scene, which is our main scene. So if we wanted to say build our game right now, we could actually build the game and then we could actually move it over to Xcode or we can move it over to Android Studio and we could put it on a phone and we would actually see this game. That, that's totally it. Like we've, you've already created a game. I mean, the game doesn't do anything. It's just a camera in an empty space. But that's all you need to do to basically set up um, the project to work with mobile. And I'm sure you found, found it interesting that you can also do Xbox One, PS4, Facebook. I mean, it, Unity is a really, really dynamic um, uh, game engine. And after you create the project, obviously you have to do a little bit more tweaking in there. Um, in, for example, Xcode or, or Android Studio to get, to get it to work. But basically, yeah, the majority of the work can be done in Unity and exported to all these different platforms. It's really cool. So... The next thing we want to do is we want to change our game aspect ratio. So this is like the camera, like what the game will actually look like. And we could set it to like, you know, iPhone tall or, you know, you'll, if you're on Android, it'll have some different options. iPhone, iPad wide, iPhone 4 tall, and, you know, it has different res resolutions. But for ease of sake, I'm just going to create um, a new... Um, resolution which is the exact resolution of my phone i currently have the iphone 7 plus which has a resolution of 1080 by 1920 so if i go down here and press the plus button i can create a new um, uh, resolution we're going to call this iphone or android or whatever you want to call it and i'm going to make the width 1080 and the height 1920 and press ok Awesome, so now, this is what our game will look like. When we press play, that's what the camera looks like. And all of a sudden, we've got the correct aspect ratio for our games working on our mobile platform. It's totally awesome. In the next episode, we'll do a bit of a scripting primer for people who have never done coding before or just need a refresher. And we'll also explain how Unity uses scripts and how Unity works to create an actual game inside of the game. So, see you there.